Welcome to Texel Chemical Processing. Myself, M. Gopalakrishnan, Assistant Professor, Department of Texel Technology. In this uh, unit, you are going to see the properties of dyes and uh, application of dyes. Before going into properties of dyes, we should know what is dye and what is uh, pigments. And uh, we should know the different class of dyes used in uh, textile field and uh, the theories of dyes. So first we will see the dyes and pigments. So normally the coloring matters will contains uh, chromophore. In uh, 19, 1876 when we observed the colored matters contains unsaturated groups that is called uh, chromophore. The compound containing chromophore is called chromogen. So chromophore is the color giving agent for uh, certain groups called axochromes are uh, present in chromogen. So if the axochrome is present in the chromophore, then it is called dye. So without uh, axochrome, chromophore cannot be a dye. So we simply it is simply a pigment. So here some of the examples for a uh, chromophore: keto, nitroso chloride, ethylene, nitro, azo or uh, chromophore. So this chromophore contains uh, without uh, axochromes, we call as uh, pigments. Axochromes may be uh, acidic or basic like uh, OH groups, uh, amide groups and uh, other axochromes include uh, carboxylic acid, SO3H and NR2. These groups can form salt linkage with the uh, either uh, acidic or uh, alkaline medium. They also form hydrogen bond with the certain groups, uh, uh, hydroxyl groups and uh, amide groups of silk and wool. Axochromes gives linkage between the dye and uh, cellulosic material or uh, textile material. So without axochrome, there will not be any affinity and substantivity towards uh, cellulosic material. So without axochrome, the color ma coloring matters cannot attracted by the textile material. So for uh, dyes, axochromes are very important and the first one is also benzene uh, molecule. So it is, a, it is a chromophore without axochrome. So this uh, chromophore will not uh, attach to the textile material whereas the amino also benzene, para amino also benzene, so will have uh, axochrome. So this axochrome can attach to the textile material. So it can form a linkage between uh, dyes and pig, uh, fabric. So this is called uh, axochrome. So this is called uh, dyes. So without axochrome, we cannot call this dye. Classification of dyes. So you can uh, we can uh, classify the dyes based on chemical constitution, based on solubility, based on application and uh, normally the dyes comes with a ca number so color index number so it is a serial number uh, registered in a color index so for example direct dye 28 means so it is a gongo red so it is uh, its serial number is 28 that's all classification of dyes based on chemical constitutions uh, there are so many class of uh, dyes are available and there are indigoids Androquinone, alpha naphthalocline, and flavones, azo dyes, heterocyclic, in, uh, indigotes, nitro, thylocyanine, stibline, sulfur, triphenyl methane dyes. So these are the these are some classes of uh, dyes based on chemical constitutions. So this is, the, this is the classification of dyes based on solubility. Coloring matters classified into two categories dyes and pigments so pigments will not have affinity towards textile material whereas dyes will have affinity towards textile materials so again dyes classified into ready-made dyes and uh, in situ developed dyes so in ready-made dyes water soluble and water insoluble dyes water soluble dyes direct acid basic reactive and optical brightening agents solubilized wet dyes so this dyes comes under water soluble dyes and water insoluble dyes wet sulfur and disperse comes under water uh, water insoluble dyes so normally disperse neither uh, water soluble or not uh, nor uh, water insoluble so it is in a dispersion medium so so that it is called a dispersed dyes and in situ developed dyes azide dyes oxidation dyes mineral dyes and in grain dyes so these dyes comes under in situ developed dyes and pigments were 
azoic, thylocyanine, and mineral dyes. So these dyes will not have a affinity towards textile material in a ready-made form. So we have to develop some uh, increase the affinity of dyes based on application on fabric. For example, acid dyes. So you can uh, dye nylon, wool, silk, and leather for materials. Azoic. You can dye cotton, rayon, cellulose, acetate, and polyester fabrics. But uh, when you dye the polyester with azoic dyes, you will get uh, very pale shades. So normally they will not prefer uh, azoic dyes for polyester. And basic dyes for uh, pan that is a uh, polyacrylonitrile, modified nylon, and polyester. Again, the polyester will have a uh, very low shades that means pale shades so direct dyes you can dye cellulosic material like cotton rayon and uh, nylon disperse it is mainly for uh, polyester and polyamide acrylic modern you can dye leather and uh, wool fibers reactive dyes so it is the most important class of dyes for uh, cellulosic material you can dye cotton wool silk nylon and viscose fibers sulfur you can dye cotton and rayon, vat you can dye cotton rayon and wool, fi wool fibers. So these are the classes of uh, dyes based on application on fabrics. Dye fiber interaction, so normally when you dissolve the dyes in dye, uh, dye path attracted by the fabrics then only the bonding takes place. So for that we should, uh, the dye should have affinity. So affinity is the degree of degree to which a substrate tend to uh, combine with another. So that is a uh, affinity. So without affinity, the dye cannot uh, attach to the textile material. So this is very important property for dyes. And um, substantivity is the amount of attraction of dyes towards the fabrics. So these two factors are very important for dyeing and stages in dyeing so normally the four stages are there in dyeing process the first one is ad adsorption absorption diffusion and fixation in adsorption so the dye is uh, attracted by the fabric so that stage is called ad adsorption so initial uh, affinity of the dyes and absorption is uh, the dye is uh, diffused into the uh, outer layer so that process is called absorption and diffusion is the dye is penetrated into the core of the material so that process is called diffusion and fixation is the bonding between the dye and uh, uh, textile materials so these four uh, stages are very important in dyeing so if you stop the dyeing without fixation the fastness properties are influenced so we should give enough time to complete all the four uh, stages of dyeing and there are two dyeing theories are followed in a, so the first one is a pore division model and the second one is free value model in pore division model the textile material will have pores pores means a, a small uh, gap in the textile uh, substrate so this is the conventional uh, dyeing conditions and uh, dyes are entered into the pore of the textile material and it is get fixed and for this model the pore size of the fiber should be bigger than the dyeing uh, dye particle size then only the dye can enter into the pore the textile material the dye should have the affinity to attracted by the textile material and uh, after enter into the pore so the dye diffuses by sorption and desorption process and the next model is free value model so in free value model the dyeing kinetics diffusion of dye molecules or ions through amorphous region of the polymer matrix so normally the polymer will have amorphous region and crystalline region so in amorphous region uh, there will be a disorder arrangement of a matrix so there will be some gap between the molecules whereas in the crystalline mania region so the dark color indicates the crystalline region 
so in crystalline region the molecules are orderly arranged so there is no gap in the crystalline region so the dye cannot penetrate into, into crystalline region and the rate of diffusion is determined by the mobility of segments of the polymer chain so <coughs> the diffusion is based on the uh, amount of uh, amorphous region and uh, mobility of the segment in the polymer chain and further the resistance of matrix structure of the fiber against diffusion is smaller above glass transient temperature or dyeing temperature that means the resistance of dye uh, penetration is uh, small uh, less in the ca case when the dye dyeing temperature is above glass transition temperature that means the mobility of the segment is more uh, when the temperature reaches the glass tra transition temperature or dyeing temperature you can see here so the dyeing tem uh, temperature is less than glass transition temperature or dyeing temperature means so the dye particles are in the surface of the uh, polymer matrix so it is not diffused into a uh, fiber matrix whereas the temperature is above uh, glass transition temperature or dyeing temperature the dye diffuses into polymer matrix and um, it occupies the free volume of the so in this case the temperature should be above dyeing temperature or uh, glass transition temperature and the terms used in uh, dyeing so normally exhaustion is a very important term used in dyeing so the mass of dye taken by the material to the initial mass of the dye in the dye path so it is uh, denoted co minus ct divided by co co is the uh, initial concentration of dye path and uh, ct is the final concentration of dye path after a time t so if you calculate uh, you will get the uh, exhaustion per percentage some of the dyes will have a better exhaustion percentage for example direct dyes will have a, a better exhaustion it, it, uh, it is above 90 percentage whereas some of the dyes will have poor exhaustion percentage for example uh, uh, reactive dyes will have poor uh, exhaustion percentage so it, it is around uh, 60 percentage only and the next important term is a uh, percentage shade so the amount of dye or color yield that is a percentage shade so the amount of dye taken by the textile material that, that is a percentage shade and uh, material to goods ratio is the how much amount of water should be taken for a particular quantity of material so that is a mstl ratio the rate of dyeing and strike is the very important term so the rate of dyeing is uh, the slope of the exhaustion cur uh, curve so that means how fast the dye dyeing takes place that is the rate of dyeing and strike is the initial rate of dyeing is called a strike and the migration and fixation is another important term. so migration means the mobility of dye inside the polymer matrix so it should be good for even dyeing and fixation is the uh, bonding between the dye and molecules and uh, adsorption isotherm so it gives the concentration of a substrate absorbed on a solid surface in relation to its concentration of the surrounding fluids so how much the dye takes uh, in relation to the solid surface to the adsorbed dye concentration that is a cf in gram per kg plotted against the solution concentration that is cs solution concentration in gram per liter so there are three isotherms or uh, adsorption isotherms are followed so nurse long more and friendly isotherm nurse isotherm is the simplest uh, isotherm it uh, follows df equal to k into ds so it follows a straight line so normally the synthetic fibers follows a dispersed uh, synthetic fibers dyeing with uh, dispersed dyes follows this uh, isotherm so it is based on the <coughs> free volume of the and the next uh, isotherm is long more isotherm so it applies to adsorption of a dye on a specific site of the polymer uh, matrix so specific site mean number of sites within the fiber the the, the rate of ad adsorption of dye into fiber from solution depends upon the fraction of unoccupied sites that means uh, how much sites remaining in the polymer denotes the rate of adsorption here the rate of adsorption is given k1 into 1 minus cf divided by c max and cs equal to k minus 1 cf divided by c max 
and k1 and k, k minus 1 rates rate constant for adsorption and desorption process and nylon follows this uh, isotherm so once the number of uh, unoccupied dye uh, sites exhausted there will not be further uh, dyeing it reaches the uh, optimum level and the next one is friendly isotherm so it applies the situation where the dye absorb into the fiber and it is not limited to the number of specific sites uh, and pore uh, of the polymer matrix it is based on the amount of dye absorbed depends upon the available pore uh, surface area and uh, initially the dye absorbed by the surface of the polymer matrix and then increasing the dye must penetrate on the less accessible area and uh, adsorption becomes more difficult then the dye can adsorbed on the another layer of uh, layer of uh, dyes over the all already occupied uh, dyes so this kind of uh, isotherm follows uh, dyeing of cellulose fibers with the direct dyes dyeing mechanism and the absorbed mechanism for various dye fiber systems so here the dye and fiber given and dyeing mechanism and the isotherm so acid dye with wool and acid dyes with nylon basic dyes with nylon reactive dyes with cellulose follows specific affinity and long more isotherm it follows a long more isotherm direct dyes with cellulose fibers specific affinity and friendly isotherm dispersed dyes synthetic specific distribution and nurse isotherm where sulfur naphthol cellulose entrapment and uh, none of the isotherm for and pigment and uh, any fibers binding and uh, it doesn't follow any isotherm <laughs>